Yay, pulls them safely. Always nice. Hi guys. You brought home some sort of materials. You brought home the mail. More cheese. Too. Grilled cheese? More. Oh, more cheese. More. Oh, hell's fire. Potatoes. Oh. And. Almost a whole pizza. Oh, za! Very nice. Well, you can't do much better than that, can you? <laughs> and you got the mail. Yep. God bless you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, there it is then. Chili dig. Yeah, it's about 38 right now. <laughs> the how's it behaving? Oh, this, oh, the new one is, the new one's magnificent. It ought to be for $3,500, shit. It ought to, you know, come out here and give me a blowjob or something, you know, every other day or, hell, maybe twice a day. Have you figured out how to clean out the other one yet? No, the other one's, the other one is erased. The other one is erased. There's nothing in it. Well, there's about 47 megabytes of stuff there that is apparently you know, ineradicable, but yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, but it's not going to give anybody any kind of info. No, they're not going to, they're not going to see me jacking off or anything. Yeah, no. <laughs> That's not info. <laughs> well, it's info for, well, maybe, well, maybe not, well, it might be for some people. Maybe the technician would like it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know, I don't seem to have too much of a... I, I can't seem to find too much of a marketplace for that kind of stuff. So. <laughs> well, what, now, was the hotel inspector there today? Oh, yeah. Oh, and... and can, I won't know anything can, for about a week. Can you discuss anything about how it went? I thought it went okay. Well, there you go. And everything done and ready. Anything's fun, sorry? Everything was done and ready. Oh, well, good. Well, that's all you can do then, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, there you go. Got to clean the damn stairwells three days in a row. All you can do is do what you can do and then see what happens. <laughs> well, I wish the guests would stop trying to climb the stairway with a plate of food and a cup of coffee. Those. They can't do it. Those. Those damn guests. They spill the <laughs> shit. Well, I'm sure they do. You know, I mean, you know, it's, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think, you know, I've obviously gone upstairs in hotels and, and I imagine, well, I can't say I've spilled anything because I, I don't, I generally don't carry, liquid, carry liquids that are spillable. Uh, I, when I have a liquid, I tend to sit down and consume it <laughs> and enjoy it. You know. I can't make it from that bedroom door to the the back door without spilling the shit somewhere in the hallway. And they want to try and take it up a stairway? It's very problematic. <laughs> Pain in the ass. Well, that, that as well. And what's in that, what's in this thing here again? I, I, I've got to look at this. Potatoes. Oh, what kind of potatoes? Oh, it's chopped up in the old thing. Let's see. We don't need it. Oh, those, oh, I can deal with those. Hey, oh, I know how to, I know how, I know how to horse with those. I can, I can, I can deal with those. Yes. Homie, homie will deal with those. Let's see, now we have mail. Let's see, well, there's my water bill. Some piece of crap. Gun owners of America, always good. They want more money, but 
always good to donate to the Gun Owners of America. Remember that, guys. Gun Owners of America. The one outfit that does not compromise. Your six cents. <laughs> yeah, I wish they wouldn't do it. I mean, I give these guys $1,500 a year, and I wish they wouldn't send out these things. Although, admittedly, they're, uh, according to their official filing with the Florida people, uh, uh, they, they don't, they don't do more than about 7% of their administrative stuff doing this kind of stuff. I still wish they wouldn't do that, though. Uh, here's a bunch of crap. Coupons. Coupons and crap. And then here's the... Uh, well, yeah, well, okay. So, we can toss this bad boy. Oh, it's, I don't know, heifer, heifer this or heifer that, and... You know, and, and, and on the surface, the idea is a good one, but I think in, in practice, it doesn't really work that well. You know, it's where they buy animals so people can feed them and then, you know, sell them or use their products. And, and it's a good idea, but I'd just rather buy some by a meal and feed it to them, frankly. I mean, I, well... Well, the big woman should either go home tonight or leave tomorrow. Now, which big woman? The inspector. Oh, big woman, big woman. Yeah, yeah. I, of course, of course, we we know that that has kind of like a double meaning. The big woman, big woman. Yeah, like Carly able to get her butt into that chair. Well, I can get my butt into this chair just fine. So I guess I'm not a big man, big man. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I'll take a seat as long as there's no arms on the chair. Well, you know, when I was considerably heavier here a few years back, guys, I remember going to one of these, you know, I went to a church service. Uh, in it. I had to pick up my beverage. Uh, had the, that didn't have, uh, you know, the, the, they didn't have pews, but they had these chap, they were called chapel chairs, and they had these arms. They were nice chairs, but, you know, I was carrying like a Bible in one coat pocket and a prayer book in another coat pocket, so I didn't know what sort of church I'd be confronted with. <coughs> And so I sat down in the, one of these chapel chairs. You know, of course, in the Episcopal Church, you know, you have to stand and sit and stand and sit and stand and sit. You know, you stand to pray, you stand to sing. And, uh, kneel and pray. Well, well, if you can kneel, I can't kneel. Uh, but uh, in any case, so every time I stood up, you know, I'd bring the chair up with me. <laughs> the chair was stuck to my ass when I stood up. <laughs> that sort of prompted me to try to lose some weight. <laughs> well, I've had. I had to give Gail a ride one time, pick her up, because she broke down on the freeway. Oh, my. And she had to sit laying over on her side because of her... Her big butt. Yeah. Yeah, she's one of these big-butted individuals, yeah. Big, right. ba big Bantu-butted individuals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's... You know, uh, give me three-quarter of a kitchen table here. <laughs> 
Yeah, maybe that could be maybe that could be a new option on some of these uh, cars. You know, uh, you could you could have the big Bantu butt option for the passenger seats so that. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? There's a marketing opportunity there for an automobile company. That's like some of the trucks. You can get it where like the console swings up and gives you. A whole front bench seat. Well, bench seat, but I'm thinking about, you know, in terms of, you know, hauling somebody, like in a passenger's compartment. You know, parking one of these big soles back in the... Well, so there's <laughs> plenty of room in the back seat in this one. Well, you know, or, or like, or maybe actually that could be a, an option in, a tr in the, one of the, in the trunk, a new trunk option so that you have like a... You know, a big bantu butted chair in the in the trunk. You know, with an extra high lid. That, you know, with a window out back or something. Like that woman that the one patient <laughs> family hauled her around in the bed of oh, a pickup yeah. truck. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I build her a little oh, shelter and oh, keep the rain off her. Yeah, yeah. At some at some point, guys, I've got to tell you about about doing uh, anesthesia on some of these uh, very, very massively obese people. And uh, like how... the one they use the forklift? Well... Because of their stomach weight? Well, they had to use the forklift to... Uh, I got to tell you about... That's... Thank you, Paul, because I'll tell you... I mean, this is something I really need to spend a separate, separate video on. <laughs> Uh, I mean, they had to hold the fat up so the woman could breathe lying on her back. Yes, and I had I, on the pump. It's the only person I put to sleep while she stood up, while she was standing. But I, I, I've got to, I've got to save that for a separate story. And I'm so glad you brought that up. You know. Well, since we were on the topic. Now, speaking of the five-gallon buckets back there, which you can see sort of back there over Paul's shoulder, you know, they, 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 put, they put this woman's fat in three of these five-gallon buckets after they cut it off and labeled it with a pathology label, you know. What do you so. do with all the leftover skin? Leave it on the body? Oh, no, yeah, the, the skin was... Uh, you, you took the fat out from under the skin for the most part. Well, not all of it because you knew you wouldn't need all of the skin. But yeah, no, I've got to talk about that later. I, I, I can't. I really don't want to get distracted. So, w were there any other things today? Oh, we've got a bunch of sports team stuff coming in. We're Come. gonna be a packed house this week. Oh, what kind of sports teams? Oh, it's soccer or something. Well, those are all. Well, those are all kind of cute guys to see in the pool, aren't they? Yeah, if they're high school enough. Well, what I'm else? I'm hoping for it to be because they're not coming in until later tonight. Well, what else? What else would they be? You you, you don't have 40-year-old soccer teams coming in, do you? Who oh, do you have five-year-old? Oh, the well, we don't want those. You know. Toddler class, nah, junior high, nah, it's all right. grade school. Well, they wouldn't be in the pool anyway. Um, Not the C word. <laughs> yeah, you got girls teams. There you go, girls teams. I have a guy team. Well, of course. I should think so. Particularly, you know, when you get to go up and down the elevator with them. Yeah, and I have to go out and keep checking on the pool, too. Oh, well, that's right, because that's your job. Yeah. Somebody's got to keep the place supplied with pool towels. Absolutely. And that is on my agenda. Yeah, no, that's, that basically is like one of the major things Paul does here, guy. So after that little fantasy charged moment, what, anything else? sudden meeting room through on me. Oh, but that but you get paid for that, right? Yeah. Oh well that's good. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. This one this group was paying 
a hundred dollars through the room only. Excellent. You don't want anything else. So it's only a hundred bucks. That's good, isn't it? Yeah. I get a chunk of a hundred bucks. Well, good. And I don't have to share it with anybody because I did the whole room. No, that's right. Well, who, who can write about that? Gratuity. It's called. That's called. I don't like getting a tip. Well, that's called them valuing Paul's. What it's called, as far as I'm concerned, and they should too. Anything else? <laughs> no. Nope. Well, there it is. So on that note, I'm going to show you. My machine, as my son would have said when he was about five. <laughs> and then I'll show you, I'll show you the latest iteration here. Well, it's, this has been quite some time ago here. I'll show you this here. You've got Barry Goldwater's extremism and the defense of liberty is no vice, moderation in the pursuit of justice is no virtue and then you have my son's sort of label for one of his homemade beers black hairy tongue stout <laughs> <laughs> all right bye bye guys